Hey guys, welcome back to Project Anatomy. The purpose of today's video will be to go over the different levels of structural organization within the human body. So let's get started. The first level of structure is the chemical level, the most fundamental level. Um, this is composed of atoms coming together to form molecules. An example of molecules are water, protein, um, fat, lipid, you know, all that, all that good stuff. So those are molecules. That's the first level, the chemical level, atoms and molecules. Um, molecules, afterwards, come together to form organelles. Organelles are the basic components of cells. And these are at the cellular level now. Um, organelles uh, work together to perform the basic functions of that cell. Cells are the smallest unit of life. Okay? Um, these, an individual cell um, reflects all the characteristics that it takes to be considered a living organism. All cells have some common functions, but vary widely in size and shape, and this determines where it is in the body and what function it's performing. Okay? It reflects the unique function of the actual cell within the body. The size, the shape, um, you know, what, what's inside of it, uh, which, uh, what molecules it's producing, etc. In complex organisms, the hierarchy will continue. Um, in you know, simple organisms like bacteria, you can stop right here. Um, but we're going to be talking about complex organisms, so we continue on to the tissue level. Tissues are similar cells working together to, form, uh, to perform a common function. Okay? There's four different types of tissues. You have epithelium, connective, mus muscle, and nervous tissue. So that's the tissue level. Um, in this case, you have a smooth muscle cell. Um, now this is smooth muscle tissue. It's a bunch of individual muscle cells coming together and performing a similar function. Now, the next level, you have the organ level, okay? This, uh, an organ has to be composed of at least two different types of tissues. If it's just one tissue, then it's a tissue. Um, organs perform specific functions for the body that no other organ can perform. There are, you know, cases where if one organ fails, uh, the body can make up for it, but we're not talking about that. For as a general uh, concept, organs perform a specific function that no other organ can perform in the human body they can perform extremely complex functions. So at this level, it gets very complex. Now, continuing on, you have the organ system level. Now, an organ system, like we said, an organ has to be um, two or more tissues. An organ system has to be um, two or more organs working together. So in this case, you have the heart and you have blood vessels working together to form an organ system. In this case, uh, you have the cardiovascular system. You have the heart, the blood vessels, and they're performing a very specific function, which is to carry uh, oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. And then, of course, you have the next level, number six, which is the organism. That's me. Uh, I'm combining all of my different organ systems, um, and I'm performing whatever function I'm performing at the moment right now, which is teaching you anatomy. So, to review, you have your chemical level, composed of atoms and molecules. You have your cellular level, composed of individual cells and organelles. You have your tissue level, uh, composed of many different cells of the same type, uh, performing a similar function. You have your organ level, which is uh, different, uh, two or more types of tissue coming together and performing a function. Then you have your organ system level, which is multiple organs coming together to perform a similar function. And then, of course, you have the organism level which is um, me, my entire body coming together, all my organ systems working together and doing what I'm doing right now, which is teaching anatomy. Okay, so thanks for joining me. And in the next video, I'll cover all the different organ systems, um, like very briefly go through each system and you know, briefly explain what it does. And then afterwards, we'll be going over homeostasis, I believe. And thanks for joining me. Hope you guys come back. Hope you're enjoying my videos so far. I've only done two so far, but um, hopefully they're helping out and I'll you know, improve my style and my, the quality of the videos and et cetera as time goes on um, with feedback from you, of course. All right, so thanks a lot for joining me and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.